I will tell you how I came to this land from my home so far across the sea and how I fell from being a planter's daughter to slavery, stolen and sold like chattel, and how I rose again to change history. My brother August, my sister Patey and I were captured by the light of a full moon carried overseas from our Caribbean island to a northern land, dead with cold and laid over with snow. While August joined the pirate crew, Katie and I became slaves to Puritan farmers. As deep when life be. felt as still and hard as the earth, but we were stolen anew. So north and north again, as we were driven to a grey convent in Montreal. In. I know as I grew to be a young woman, I was bad to work flax, I creating fine linen from its stubborn stalks. Katie lost herself to lust in those years. When the chance came to escape, I found myself at a crossroads far south in a land called Massachusetts. When I first met Colin McLamond, I hated his eyes and his anger. But he had come to build me a house. And when I chided him his rough visage, he shaved and cut his hair. And he not only built me a house, he built me a home. But I wanted to marry a man of royal heritage, like my pa. The turning of the years brought many things. My brother August returned as a changed and dangerous man. And then the levies of the British crown were upon us. Soldiers came to rifle and to steal, and a scurrying was heard across the land. The sounds of secrets, footfalls in the night, and soft words whispered through a veil. The words Cullach had ever warned, War is coming. War is coming. Liberty and freedom. Without those, life means a little 